What's up, guys? I'm Andrew Bedlam here at Pogo HQ with an episode of Bedlam's Workshop. Now, today, I'm going to show you guys my new Fender Tex-Mex pickups for my Squire Bullet, the Fender Squire Bullet. So we're going to install them, but before we do that, going to uh, record some videos using the stock ceramic pickups. Going to do everything through a Sans Amp and uh, going to do all three settings of the Sans Amp and uh, play three different riffs on three different settings in all of the uh, pickup combinations, so bridge, neck, and middle. So we're going to start off with the ceramic pickups first and then we're going to dive over to the Alnico 5 Fender Tex-Mex. <laughs> Okay, I figured we should take a quick second and do a little dive on this guitar here. Now, I've already done some aesthetic mods, and it comes with a uh, white pick guard and, I guess, white knobs? I don't know. What kind of... Uh, chrome knobs, maybe? I don't remember. I think maybe they were the chrome knobs I put on the black. I don't remember what the hell they were. And the black pick guard, it looks so much better. The camera not really doing it justice, but it's got that uh, metal flake finish that sparkle shimmer going on with it this is a um so this is the telecaster bullet it's a squire okay so it's the indonesian fenders and uh, the body is a pop it's a popular body and then they got two single coil ceramic pickups now that's the worst thing on this guitar but outside of that man this guitar is killer i am so happy with this guitar and i bought it for a reason you know what i mean first of all with the idea of modding it i like the idea of something with two single coil pickups easy to work with um instead of like a strat with three and humbuckers on a gibson or an epiphone or whatever so i figured two pickups simple switch volume tone it's not like there's a preamp in there and eq and stuff a lot less to do like the sound now the neck, the neck is a C-shaped neck, a skunk stripe, so it's got the truss rod in there. For those of you who don't know, the truss rod, you adjust it and it moves the neck in this direction. So uh, that's why that stripe's there. But it's a C-shaped neck, which is bigger, and I like that because I'm traditionally a bass player. So I use a jazz neck, which is a slightly smaller, it's on the big side, but a slightly smaller bass neck. But when I grabbed the Squire bullet at the store and played this, the neck was so small. I was strangling it, I couldn't stand it. So I really like this Telecaster because of the neck and because of the simplicity. Um, but yeah, like it's a poplar body, C-shaped neck. The, uh, the fingerboard Board is Indian Laurel, which is like, um, you know, it's it's dark. They want it to look like rosewood. It's not bad. I uh, polished it up a bunch with some Fender Custom Shop stuff a while ago. 21 frets, and uh, it's a hardtail, and uh, it's a, uh, I think it's a urethane gloss finish. I'm on Fender's website right here. I got the specs in front of me. Got the six saddle. Some of the Telecasters, the more expensive one, actually have the three saddle. I don't know what the point of that is. Then they get the brass ones in there. I was thinking about I don't know how hard it would be to change the brat, put these as brass. But also the best thing about the bullet, strung through the body. Which is awesome because the upgrades which would be, uh, what comes after the bullet? Uh, I forget what it's called, what Fender calls that. The more expensive version, it's not strung through the body. You gotta get back up to like the American made. So I'm like, screw that. I can get a strung through the body guitar and I'm putting in the Tex-Mex pickups. They put those in some of the, uh, the American made tellies. They, um, they're the, the tight wound, hot wound. So it should be nice and punchy. I have never changed pickups on a guitar before, so this is a first for me. I'm a little nervous. I have been practicing soldering on some old guitar parts that I have, and it's real simple. I got the diagram. Each pickup has like two or three wires on it, I think just two, and one goes to the pot and one goes to the switch. You only gotta wire them to the volume knob, don't even have to wire it to the tone. The tone is separately wired to the volume and I'm not fussing with that. So I gotta put like two, um, what do you call them, cables, uh, wires on the pickup selector and then I believe just two on the pot. So uh, let's let's see if I can do this. So I started off 
by removing the strings and uh, I took them off with the intention of reusing them but then ended up not reusing them anyway so it was kind of a waste of time should have just cut them off but then I uh, started taking the screws out of the pick guard and then the screws out of the bridge itself and also in the controls on the guitar then the pickups were mounted to the bridge and the pickup uh the pick guard excuse me so i had to remove them and uh then start wiring up the new stuff okay so i got the bridge pickup in place but not soldered yet it was ridiculous because the three screws that'll adjust the height of the pickup, I could not get the one to catch. I thought it was stripped. I was so pissed. It wasn't stripped. I got it in. It just took forever. One thing that I'm very mad about, though, the pickup, like if you look at this, the black wire is just as long as the white wire. For some reason, on the bottom pickup, the black wire is like one inch. Doesn't reach to nothing. I had to put it right to this screw right here from here to here it was like an inch long only place it could fit all the videos show it coming through the body i did see some other videos where they were complaining about the tex-mex bridge pickup having a short wire i don't know why they do that it makes it so much harder it should be long like this one so you can go right to that pot like the stock ones were i don't know why it's like that but be aware so now i'm putting on the neck pickup again so i guess first things first i got two screws i'll put in that um put the pickup to the pick guard get that in there yeah but i'm supposed to go jam i'm like shit i'm definitely oh i need the little surgical tubing you gotta put some uh to help adjust, you put like this little, sometimes it springs. This is like surgical tubing. Okay, so I have the neck pound, uh, pickup mounted in to the pick guard. It's in the little uh, routered out recess hole there. I got it pulled through the body. Got like, I don't know, six, seven screws or some shit to put them in. I put all my screws in tape and I, um, well, I still managed to lose all the bridge screws a good three times as I was putting them in when I kept running into the same problem and then I would spin it and they would all fall all over the floor and I wouldn't be able to find them. That had me mad pissed. All because of that uh, real short ground wire that Fender feels the need to give us on the bridge pickup that totally pisses me off. But yeah, like I said, just seven screws here. Got to mount these in. But um, after that, got to make four or five solders. I had to disconnect some other ground wires. The way they had it grounded was like four or five of the black ground wires were all soldered together. And I needed to disconnect two of them, which meant I needed to disconnect all of them. So I have to reconnect the two. I was hoping I wouldn't have had to disconnect. But I'm going to try and do it in one blob and we'll see. Now um, I did measure the little bridge pieces, whatever you call them. I don't, I don't know what you call them. I did measure them. So I should be able to get them semi-close. I only had to move two of them. But I should be able to get them semi-close. And then uh, I'll try and do the intonation. It's going to be a pain in the ass. But uh, thankfully, I saw that tape there. And then, um, yeah, because I am going to try and get this strung up. I do want to take it after I get it all set up. I am going to take it to Dave Phillips and have my man Dano do a setup on it and uh, put some new strings. I am going to put the old strings right back on it, which is something I never, ever, 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 ever do. But uh, like I said, I'm taking this to go get set up. So when I do that, I'm going to have them put new strings on it. But before I take it to get set up, I want to test it out. So uh, I'm going to throw the old strings on it and try and adjust the intonation myself. And um, if I can't get it, I'll have them do it at the setup. But um, try and get the intonation set up. 
and then I will uh, do the other comparison shots because I already recorded the shots with the ceramic pickups, of course. So maybe I'll just throw the old strings on here and uh, do those same three licks over again. And then after that, I'll take it into the shop, get the neck, sand it down a little, and uh, get some new strings, get the neck hydrated, adjust the intonation, lower the string action. I like my strings as low as possible with no fret buzz. That's how I pretty much like everything set up. On my last setup, I had them put a little bit of fret buzz, which means the strings even lower, so they hit the fret and it makes like a, a buzzing noise a little. Because I was like, yeah, let me get a little bit of fret buzz. Hated it, had to adjust it myself, started really making me mad. My own fault though, I said to set it up that way. Okay, so now I got the pick guard on. Got all the seven screws on. I'm pretty sure now all we do is solder. And the, no, might as well leave that there for now. So we're going to solder. And then after we solder, we got to put the two screws back in this. String it up and we're done. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, Andrew, don't be stupid now. Okay, so that is the neck pickup. This is the bridge pickup. Now, the bridge pickup is going to be soldered. Let me turn on this solderer again. I had it on for mad long and wasn't even using it. I turned it off five minutes ago, and now I need it to heat up. All right, so this is the neck. I have the diagram. Now, this is where I started soldering, and uh, I was real nervous, but I, I actually did a fine job. I did practice, though. Like, I, I took apart some remote controls, and I had been using an old Les Paul with humbuckers and Epiphone that I ripped out the electronics because they were similar components, and I had been practicing on that you know i grabbed a soldering station never had one before grabbed a little helping hands that was a necessity these like two little clips and a magnifying glass to help you hold everything i mean it, it cost me like 20 25 dollars in tool 10 dollars for the little light on my head also kind of a necessity them little tools that went along the helping hands and the light on the head i could not get things done without them i didn't have enough hands and i couldn't see so i was glad I spent some money on those and uh, can't wait to try out the pickups. I'm not very happy. <laughs> uh, okay, so it looks as if I may have this soldered. Oh, Christ, I do not trust myself. I will tell you that. I did not get burned. I did not ruin the finish of the guitar. I did not do a sloppy, sloppy job soldering. I did a better job soldering than the person who tried to solder that Epiphone. I'll tell you that fucking much. But yes, let's see about getting this, all these wires back down in there. Ah, oh boy. Where are the screws? Here we have the rig we will be using for today. This is the Sans Amp G2G Tech 21 MYC. I love this little thing. It works great. Now, I don't have any guitar amp here at all. I am going to be getting a little orange micro Terra dark one, but i uh, still going to use this thing and love it. I got this plugged directly into the Focusrite Scarlet interface, okay? Actually, I'm plugged into the board and then the board is giving me some reverb, and then I'm plugged into the uh, focus tray. It's a Mackie board. But uh, this right here has three different, it's an amp emulator basically, and uh, it has three different settings. We have uh, the Tweed, which is Fender Circuit. We have British, which is a Marshall Circuit. And then we have California, which is the Mesa Circuit. Then they give you uh, three different types of gain. You can have a clean setting, a high gain for some overdrive and what they call hot wired 
which is more of a distortion. Then they have it even where you can set up how the mic is set up. Now, classic, I didn't use it all in the video. Classic would be if you wanted it uh, real far away, like a condenser mic that was mic that was real far away. Center would be with the microphone pointed at the center of the speaker, and off axis would be catching like the corner of a speaker. I did play with both the center and off axis. I generally prefer prefer the center, which is the brighter one. I know most people prefer off axis, but I did use them both. All the notations will be in the video. Okay, now I'm going to get you guys some tones using the stock ceramic pickups. We're going to play everything with all three position settings in the pickups. Everything will start with the middle setting, so both pickups, then we'll go to the bridge, and then we'll play the same riff at the neck position as well. Also, we'll be using the sans amp and the three settings. Each riff is played on a different setting. I'll make notations in the video for you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I am like ecstatic. I already, before I even made the uh, second shots with the new pickups, I took it out with the drummer last night and uh, was jamming around in a garage, high volumes, you know, cutting through the mix, sounding good. I really love the neck pickup. It's so warm, so clean. I'll probably, like, I don't really ever play exclusively with the neck pickup when I'm in the punk rock stuff usually, but like, especially for like the Kiss Me Deadly type tones, that neck pickup is great. But overall, the tone of the guitar is so much better. It's louder. I can definitely hear the difference here. It's uh, the first time I ever made a video like this, so I hope I did a good job with the comparison. And uh, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a like, give us a subscribe, and tell your friends. Remember, catch the podcast, 
at uh, pogocity.stream. And if you guys want a uh, pogo shirt or a one-sided shirt or a Mike Blanks and the Sex, Drugs, and Alcohol Band shirt, head over to pogocity.shop. Got the mugs, the hats, whole nine yards. But uh, thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time.